Hi guys, here I am back, this time in English. It's the reason is some of my friends who speak English did tell me what they thought this was. And this is actually coffee. So I have a friend uh, who's has done and her, I mean in her house, all day uh, buy the grains, they grind them and then they get this. That's actually like she gets some like pellets and um, I told her uh, what to do with it and ever since she has always brought it to me. So I am going to share with you what I do with it and because I think it's important. One thing is um, what we do with something physically for our physical body but the other thing is also the support that it can be to uh, give to us emotionally. So this is the case. What I do with it is a scrub and the reason why I like to scrub myself is because of uh, my health, my skin health. I want my skin to be good, to get rid of dead cells, but also when you scrub your skin, you're getting rid of a lot of uh, toxins and the important thing is that symbolically our skin, well, biologically our skin is meant to be there to protect us but also it's the door that opens to many things, right? Because we are, our skin is able to let things go through. When I am not cleaning or scrubbing my skin, symbolically I'm closing myself to new things. I want you to watch or look uh, for something called the principle of the void, which means we have to always open up space when you want something, you want a new relationship, a new job, a new home, you have to open space in your life for that new thing to come. So uh, the example I always give is a relationship. You want to have a new relationship. You have to make sure that you open space for that new relationship in your life. Whether it is um, you finish the relationship you're not satisfied with or your space in terms of time from work or you want a new dress, a new suit, a new shirt you have to open up space in your closet this emotionally and energetically is called the principle of the void we need to open up space for whatever we want to fit in our lives and that is important when you're talking about exfoliating your skin because you're opening your skin and your life symbolically to be ready for things. Oh, this fell down, I went fast. So what do I do? I use the coffee, thank you for the heart, whoever sent it to me. Um, so why do I use coffee? For many reasons. This is like, there are many things you can use to make a scrub, but the best thing to use is coffee. Coffee has anti-inflammatory properties, so for those people who tend to get um, kind of inflammation on their skin that's going to help. It also helps producing collagen, which is super important for our skin. So whatever, whatever, whenever you try to make your own scrub, coffee could be the number one option. Sugar is really good too, but coffee has a lot of properties. The other thing is it's really good for our thighs and our um, hips because it helps and you're going to really know what I mean. It helps to uh, increase the blood circulation and it also helps break up cells, fat cells, which is the biggest problem of most women in that area. So that's gonna help if you have any, if, I mean, we all have cellulitis, or at least I'm speaking for myself. So you can use that. The other thing is coffee. What do we use coffee for in the morning? Or why do people drink coffee in the morning? Because they want to wake up, they want to be active. Caffeine is going to help with that. If you're putting it all over your body, it's going to help you, uh, give you a boost of energy, but also emotionally. If it's a day when you're feeling down, you're going to pamper yourself with the massage, but also emotionally it's going to support you. And when we're doing it in the hips and all that, of course, we know circular motions and a good brush is going to help. I was telling you, you can also use sugar. Sugar is great for the face. 
and sugar is really good for skins like mine and have very sensitive skin very very sensitive skin and it has something called AHA which is basically glycolic acid which we know is really good for the skin it really helps you have like a chemical peeling in a way and it's gonna help for the uh, the skin with the quality the other thing that we can all use is this is salt that I get at a special place where they have salt caves and it's here in my city um, and salt is great really good but never on your skin on the face from the neck down you can put it it's really good for the heart areas like our um, knees elbows feet and also it's antiseptic which means if you have any kind of process like you break out a lot like there are people who break out a lot on their back for example scrub with this is gonna help with that um, so how do you make it so you choose your base and most of the time I go with coffee unless I want to do it at night because you can scrub yourself take a shower at this time of the night and the evening and then put the scrub of course no coffee because coffee is going to keep you up I take one cup of whatever my base is coffee, salt or sugar then I put one third of vegetable oil coconut oil is always really good for our skin jojoba is really good I have this one too called V6 which is a blend and then I put one spoonful of vitamin E and the reason why I like to use vitamin E is because it has a lot of um, antioxidant properties and also it help, helps repair. Once I have blended all that, I like to add my essential oils. People always will tell you for a scrub, use any citrus oils. Lemon is really good, grapefruit is great too. Of course, when you're talking about skin, lavender, or frankincense and I actually like to use frankincense even on my skin like straight at night before I go uh, to bed and the good thing is frankincense is an oil that really help us relax at a very deep level so it's gonna help me have a good night but you can also do it for emotional purposes like you had a really stressful day you put this one and then it's again it's gonna help you rest and relax and let go of things speaking of let go release which I actually use every night I apply it over my liver because sometimes we cannot sleep because we're so obsessed about things that happen or that are going to happen that we don't let go and that's why we don't sleep um, Valor, if I'm thinking about something that I have to face that I have that might not be prepared for. My son's favorite, which we use a lot lately, Peace and Calming. Again, all these oils that help you with kind of resolving emotional issues are going to be really good to be used at bedtime. And if you're feeling like sores or muscles, you can make it scrub and use peppermint which is a really good oil for that so I wanted to share with you first because many of you did guess that this was coffee but also because this is something I have been doing probably for I think two years I have been doing the scrubbing of my face and a lot of issues I had in the past have been getting better with the constant care and also in these days and times that we all feel stressed out, feel with fear, um, uncertainty. It's really good to take the time to do some self-care, to relax, to let go of things physically and symbolically. So hope this helps. Bye.